I've had some insane luck. Am I winning? Let's just say that. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Peyton. It is nice to meet you, it is nice to see you, and welcome to the corner. I have decided to make my life more difficult because I love self-destruction. Just kidding. Am I? Am I kidding? Yes, yes, I'm kidding. Anyway, like many of you guys, I'm sure I have been experiencing an up and down relationship with Animal Crossing New Horizons, continuously kind of getting burnt out and not sure how to keep myself excited. Well, I found a way to keep myself excited. And so I started doing Animal Crossing hard mode. While there are so many different Animal Crossing challenges out there, the one I have been participating in is the one set forth by Nintendo. The rules for this version of hard mode, I'm popping on the screen. There are a lot of them, but don't worry, we'll go through them as well as they are in the description, as well as Pat from Nintendo has a whole video about these rules. So I will link that down below. It's pretty much Animal Crossing with a list of rules to keep it a little bit more interesting. And so I've been participating in Animal Crossing hard mode via my live streams and a lot of chaos has ensued. So in today's video, I'm gonna be recapping what the heck happened when I restarted my island in favor of playing Animal Crossing in the hard way. I'll be showing you guys the big highlights, the juicy stuff, the villagers, all that good stuff. But if you wanna see the entire hard mode journey, feel free to check out my live streams. All of the past ones are on the channel so you can see all of the good stuff and bad stuff as I've been participating in Animal Crossing hard mode. But before we get into today's video, please be sure to click the lovely little like button as well as subscribe for more cozy, chaotic content like this. Okay, I'll shut up and let's get into it. So when I started hard mode, I had one thing on my mind. These starter villagers are going to kill me. Now, in case you aren't familiar with Animal Crossing, when you start a brand new island, which you need to for Animal Crossing hard mode, you are gifted two lovely villagers, a jock type villager and a sisterly type villager who join you on the island that you are going to be pretty much taking over. <laughs> And normally, if you're like me, you can just keep resetting your switch in case you don't get villagers you like. But one of the rules in hard mode is you're only allowed to re-roll or reset one time. So going into hard mode, the thing I was most nervous about were the starter villagers. I made you a tier list. <laughs> I made you, uh, so I don't like to be the person that lies to you about my villager opinions, so. I made you a tier list of all the, it's a bad graphic. It's not even, it's not even, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I did the best I could. I made a graphic with you for the starters. Okay, this is how I really feel about them. So if in 10 minutes I get somebody that I don't like and I try and lie about it, you can hold me accountable. Okay. Something else that was and is super important to me when doing hard mode is staying true to myself and how I like to do Animal Crossing Islands. I love to pick very specific themes. I love to do crazy terraforming. And normally I have the villagers fit whatever theme I'm doing. Because hard mode, I'm not going to be able to control the villagers who always live on my island. As one of the rules is when a villager asks to move out, you have to let them move out. And when campsite villagers come in, they have to come in. So because of that, I can't always control who the heck is gonna be on the island. So I had the challenge of thinking of a theme that I thought could work for any villager. So I had to think of a theme that I thought was still gonna be challenging, but fun. And I wanted to pick a theme that I thought I could make any villager work for it, okay? Okay, no, it's this one. Okay, so my hardcore mode island is going to be magic library themed. Now let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my entire island into a library and every single villager that moves in, whether they stay or they go, will inspire a, inspire a section of the library. Maybe we'll have like an action section or if we have stitches, we'll have a children section. So we're gonna use whoever we get to move onto the island to inspire what kind of books we have in our library. It's gonna be fun, over the top and whimsical. I think it will be pretty, but it can get weird depending on what villagers we get. After revealing the theme, it came down to business, the scary stuff. Firstly, picking our map layout, which was 
not really a fun task. I'm so freaking nervous. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Did I mention I'm scared? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't like any of these. Oh God. Oh God. I don't know. I get, uh, okay. I don't like any of these. What's okay. Definitely not the top left. Yikes. What is this? What is this? I don't like any of them. I, maybe this one? Top left? Sus. No, 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 no. I'm thinking maybe this one. I kind of like the bottom right, but that's so close. That's so, I mean, that's close. The resident services are all so close. I mean, it could be fine. I think bottom left is the best option here. I think this is, I think this is good. I think this is nice. I, th I think we're gonna go for this, okay? And then the ultimate scary part, going to the island and seeing our starter villagers, the two people that I'm gonna be stuck with for however long. So I was really nervous. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Did I mention I'm scared? Cause I'm scared. Cause I'm scared. Is Peyton scared? Cherries, okay. Cherries were my first ever one. So it feels like home. I'm scared. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. Can you just tell me if the starters are good? Don't tell me who they are. Just tell me if they're good. Are they good or are they bad? Are they good or are they bad? I gotta know. Are they good or are they bad? What happened? Good. Good? Good? So good? Good, 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 good. You're so lucky. What a cutie. <gasps> oh my god. Are you kidding me? They're both S tier. What? I'm sorry. And Rudy is literally, literally my favorite jock in the whole game. Are you kidding me? Oh, whoa. I'm sorry. Has a streamer gotten a better pair than these two? Whoa, Faith and Rudy. Well, it's safe to say we won't be re-rolling. Oh my God. <gasps> Wow, I was so ready for it to be like Moose and Rocket. I was so ready. After getting the most insanely amazing villagers, my fear suddenly went away, but switched over to the next big thing we had to worry about with Animal Crossing hard mode, which was what the heck are we gonna call the island? According to the Animal Crossing hard mode rules, you have to pick your island name from an island name generator. And I am picky and annoying. So I was prepared to sit here for hours to scroll through names until I found one that I thought would be perfect for not only my theme, but also just like in general, in case the theme like takes on a new life or something and gets a little different as we go along. Oh, the name. Oh my God, the name. I forgot about that. We need to roll the generator for the name. First thoughts, what are these two's book genres? I think Faith is the travel section, but I'm not sure about Rudy. What do you guys think? When you look at Rudy, maybe like he's, I don't know if I want to do a holiday section because it could be like holiday. I know the name is going to be so bad because I have a theme in mind, but I, we might be able to do it. We might be able to do it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, here's how this works. Um, so every time I reset, I can reset this as many times as I want, but if I reset this, I can't go back to a name. Okay. So I don't like any of the, keep it. It's a library. It's a library whimsical theme. I feel like we could do better than this. We got Marine, Moss, Sunshine, Aria, Harmony, Furport. Ew. Disgusting. Rust Front, Bayward, Shademeyer, and Firebury. I don't like any of those. Okay. <laughs> I don't like any of those. Um, we got Mesa, Newt, Gideon, Chandra, Harmony, Gold Band. Oh, I could look at it here. Gold Band, New Wall, Stillmere, East Pond, or Soulaborn. Anyway, um, Rubia, Brooks. Petals, ooh, short fjord, <laughs> Danica, Whitefell, 
Lol Band. I don't like any of these. Um, Might Thorn, Sundale, Ebenbrook, uh, Ebenbrook. Oh God, I'm picky. I didn't realize I'm a picky person. Okay, wait. Oh wait, these are better. These are better. Wait, these are better. Willow, Glen, Mercury, Stella, Lotus. Welcome to my White Lotus Island. Oaken Haven, Pear Wharf, Maple Haven, Elm Hall, Firevale. I think we got some winners in here. I like Maple Haven, Elm Hall, and Firevale. <laughs> but I kind of like Elm Hall and Maple Haven the best. Dare we take it to a poll? This wasn't too hard. Elm Hall is winning in the chat. Well, let's make a poll. Which name? Those are both cute. I like them both. All right. Elm Hall is the name of our island. Are we all right with Elm Hall? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. Let's go. Look at this. Who it? This man. This man. Oh my God. Not to be dramatic, I would die for you. I would absolutely die for you. After settling on the name Elm Hall, which I totally love, I feel like it works perfect for the island. I pretty much just did a lot of the basic Animal Crossing New Island tasks, which I've kind of saved you from in this video. I'm kind of just giving you the juicy stuff, but if you want to see all the stuff, it's in the stream, blah, 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 you know the drill. So I gathered a bunch of items that I needed. I explored the island. Luckily, my villagers placed their tents in spots that weren't totally obnoxious because one of the hard mode rules is that the villagers can place their tents wherever they'd like. Yeah, I got such good colors. What? Oh, oh. Wait, the good luck continues. Look at that cot. Oh my God, why is it so cute? And so then I decided to do a couple of the other beginning hard mode tasks. Specifically, I knew that I needed to draw on my bulletin board and write that it was a hard mode island. So much of hard mode is about community and connecting with other hard mode players. So it is in the rules that your bulletin board does need to say it is a hard mode island, specifically for Sunday markets when you come and trade with other villagers. And eventually when the island is done and you guys can come and visit it, it, then you'll know that the island was created with the hard mode set of rules. Can I do this too? Can I? Oh, let's do this. Can we do this? Wait, wait, wait. Can we do this? I would like to do a sloth in the corner. Okay. Um, I'd like to make this my sloth. Okay, hold on. It's going to be a sloth. Okay, hold up. It looks so good. The way this looks so good. Okay, perfect! Yay! Hard mode! <laughs> After my incredible, incredible art skills, I decided to move on to my outfit. Now, one of the most daunting and scary things about Animal Crossing hard mode is that you have to make all of your own custom designs. I'm actually really excited about this part because I've never done it before, but I think with a little bit of practice and guidance, it can be something I am good at. Specifically because so many of the times when I'm thinking about island themes, I abandon crazy ideas I have just because I think the paths won't exist. But now if I learn to make my own path, suddenly I feel like, I feel like the world of possibilities for Animal Crossing themes just gets crazier and crazier and I'm so excited about it. In the past, the only thing I've designed for myself are my outfits for each island. And I do usually like to put a fair amount of effort in for them. However, for my starter beginner outfit that is just a tank top and not a cute little dress, I decided to just make this. It really doesn't need to be as difficult as I'm making it. It really could just, I could have put a smiley face on the t-shirt and been like, there it is. But I said, no, let's make a little sloth, baby. Let's make a little sloth, baby. I should just fill that in. Here is my sloth. It's on the front and the back. Perfect. 
killing it! And after making that cursed sloth, I pretty much wrapped up the first stream of Animal Crossing hard mode. We did some stuff to kind of get Bells going and Miles going, but mainly what I wanted to do was get ready for the next stream where my goal was to get at least one of my first three villagers. Oh! A ble I don't remember anything from the beginning of this game. Small business, what do you need? Building a shop! After all, our little island community is growing, our needs are growing too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods. Let's do it. All right. That's the 30 iron nuggets. I remember when I first played this game and this man told me I needed 30 iron nuggets. I wanted to die. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna chop this wood, get this to 5,000. Then I'm gonna redeem a Nook Mile ticket. Actually, I wanna get this. Okay. How many, how many, how, we need what? You can only do 10 tickets, so we need to have nine tickets. They're 2,000 each. So we need a lot more Nook Miles. All right, let's grind for Nook Miles for a little bit. I have one ticket sitting at resident services. We have enough what, for four? Should we, we're not gonna be able to get 10 tickets, but should we try and do a five ticket hunt for one of the villagers? Like, how do these three plots work? Is it 10 tickets for, it's 10 tickets per hunt. But if I separate hunting for each villager for the plot, can I justify doing it all separate? Why not? Yeah. I think so, because I'm not gonna hunt for all three right now. All right. So my luck was ridiculously good with the starters. Now we can fill the plot with a lazy, a peppy, and a normal. Will we get cuties? Will our luck be as good as it was before? Will it be as good? Four Nook Mile tickets. Our four Nook Mile ticket hunt. We can do it. I bet you'll get three cuties right away and then I'll have a spare ticket. Ah, oh, I would love that. I can't imagine me getting more than one villager with four tickets. But let's see. I walk into the first island and then it's a freaking walker. I walk into the island and then it's walker. I'll lose my mind. I will pee pee my pants in the best way. Or Drago, who's my other fave. All right, let's see. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Wilbur, it's nice to meet you. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Love you so much, love you so much. Love you so much, Wilbur. Love you. Hope you brought me somewhere nice. I'm scared. So we're hoping we can find a cutie. I did this poorly. You're... This man ruined my rock. Sting me. Oh, should I catch it? Wait. I'll catch it. I'll try to catch it. Oh, no, it stung me. Give me the miles. Give me the miles. Let's see who is on this island. Will it be somebody better than before? Will it be somebody cute? Will it be somebody cute? What if... Benedict, I'd take him. Please! I know I was lucky with the starters, but what if I, you know, what if uh, the luck continues? I've had Sky before. I've had Sky before. What if we just go to the last one? But will I regret not taking Sky? I've had Sky though. She is cute, but 
she's not giving me library necessarily. I kind of want to go one more. It could be that we have to take this person. Maybe we have to take this person. I'm scared. Okay. 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 I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, it's fine. Oh no, it's a yucky lion. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I have enough miles for one more? Almost. Almost. If it's gonna be a lion, it should be Elvis. Who can fit for the medieval section? Drago. Drago is medieval. And that's who I want. Or Becky. I'll take Be- If I'm gonna take a chicken, I'm gonna take Becky. Am I winning hard mode yet? I'm doing such a- I'm doing a good job. I got blathers to move in. I- Oh, I think I almost have things for the shop. I think I just need more iron nuggets, but I'm almost there. Filling it. You know, I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm scared. Who thinks she should take this villager no matter what? Uh, who thinks that? Who thinks that? No one. <laughs> I'm Every little thing is gonna be all right, right? We do the slow walk. We do this. Is it someone? Gr <gasps> I mean, am I winning? <laughs> am I winning? <laughs> Let's literally the one villager is like, I really want. Drago. Oh, let's go. Hello. Come to my magic library. I won. I hate, uh, guys, I hate to say that I've won hard mode. I won. After getting my number one dreamy for the island, we decided to end the stream and continue the villager shenanigans in the next one. Now in the next stream, once again, I struggled with the lack of nook miles that I had. So it took me quite a long time to gather up enough miles to go villager hunting for what I wanted to be both our peppy and normal villager. Let's do what we did last time. Let's go for four. And then if we need to use the fifth one, we'll use the fifth one. We'll try to get a fifth one, I mean. We've got four tickets. We are going to find somebody in four tickets, I hope. If not, if not, we'll get a fifth ticket. Just to recap, we have Faith and Rudy, and then we already got our lazy villager, which is Drago. I'm hoping for my girl, Gail, but really anybody that just sparks enough joy that we think would work for our magic library island, which most villagers I think would. Ah! But I'm also annoying and picky. I'm also annoying and picky, so that makes it difficult. So. Who do you want for the first peppy? I feel like, let me pull up the peppy thing. Cause I couldn't, I couldn't tell you a peppy villager off the top of my head. There's yikes, 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 yikes. A lot of them are yikes. A lot of them are disgusting. Oh God. A lot of them are yikes. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted Felicity. Felicity has been one of my dreamies forever. I've never had her. I love her. I love her. I don't know what section she'd be. Oh, I like freckles. Oh my God, pets, hey. <gasps> ah, I. Pate is my dreamy. You know what, Pate. Pate is my dreamy. Pate and Gail are our idealistic situation here. But there are tons of others. There are tons of other good ones. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Did I mention I'm nervous? Because I'm nervous. 
All right, let's just pull off the band-aid. going my way and I was just so thrilled I feel like I'm really getting good luck with the villagers which makes me terrified for my campsite visitor when that happens but after I got Gale I was running out of time in the stream so I only was able to visit like one or two more islands on stream and we didn't find anybody we liked and so I continued my grind for Nook Mile tickets. I used just two more tickets, so I didn't go over my max, and I found our final villager off stream. And I hate to do this to you, but if you wanna find out who the final villager is, you're going to have to check out my stream that I posted last night in case you missed it to see who the grand peppy villager reveal was. Overall, I'm really enjoying Animal Crossing hard mode. It's the first time that I've been playing Animal Crossing off of stream for my own enjoyment rather than just like to prep things for the stream and it's been something that i'm continuously excited and inspired by i can't wait to do more and i'm really excited to actually work on a theme with these really strict set of rules but i want to hear what you guys think down below let me know what you think about the villagers so far how have you been doing if you're playing hard mode is your luck as good as mine or is your luck absolutely in the trash because if it is i feel for you and i deeply apologize if you guys enjoyed this video please also let me know i never really make stream highlight and recap videos like this but if there's something you're interested in seeing since i do stream so much and for many hours i'd love to do more if it's something that you guys enjoy please be sure to click the lovely little like button on your way out as well as subscribe for more cozy chaotic content all the love in the world and i will see you in the next one bye bye